Not cool. Pretty cool. Could be cooler. Not what I had in mind. I can't hear you! Now that's a cool sound! Sorta of awesome? Not awesome. Couldn't be more awesome. Oh yeah, that is awesome! Uh, you did that already. That's pretty much all you can do, huh? this competition, so I'm gonna have to take some points off. <sighs> Listen, turtle. Tortoise. Whatever. You've had your fun, but I think you and I both know who made the cut and who didn't. You didn't. Everything. You gave it your best shot. Maybe I've got a gold star sticker around here somewhere you can have. But seriously, go home. You're starting to creep me out. So, anyway... You're all outstanding competitors. But there can only be one of you who's number one. So the final tie-breaking mm. contest is going to be... Pause for dramatic effect. A race against me through Ghastly Gorge! Dun dun dun! Kazoo Knight. Actually, Ghastly Gorge isn't scary. It's fun. I've flown through it a million times myself, so obviously I'll be at the front of the pack. But whichever of you make it across the finish line with me will have proven you can keep up with me and will have earned the honor and glory of getting to be my pet. Ready? Set, go! say, that's one way to make an introduction. Oh, goodness. I am so sorry. I, I didn't see you there. I I've just got so many bags, and I was trying to get back to my suite at the castle, and... You're staying at the castle? Well, the, the princess invited me to stay in one of the suites. You know the princess? Hmm. A pony with expensive taste, I see. Oh, it's for an ensemble I'm making for a friend. Her birthday's in a few days. Again, I'm really sorry I bumped into you. I'm not. <laughs> you are obviously some pony worth bumping into. Listen, I have a VIP box reserved at the Wonder Bolts Derby this afternoon. Would you, would you be so kind as to join me and a few of my companions there? Me? But of course, my dear. Well, I, I'm, uh, uh, no, sure. We'd love to see you there. Uh, uh, Rarity. Rarity. Seeing the derby from a VIP box is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Con! Going to the derby cuts into the amount of time I have to finish Twilight's outfit. Pro! Fancy Pants is the most important pony in Canterlot. His stamp of approval could mean big things for me here. Con! Twilight's party might not be as sophisticated as the derby, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't put all of my energy into creating her birthday ensemble. My ponyville friends will appreciate my hard work more than any pony. I hate to let them down. 
I won't. Opal, I am going to the Wonderbolt Derby as a guest of Fancy Pants. Jolly good to see you. So glad you could make it. Everybody, this is Rarity. She's staying at Canterlot Castle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wonderbolt Derby. The competitors are taking their places at the starting line and our race will begin momentarily. I'll be rooting for rapid fire, of course. He's sure to take home the grand prize. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think he has a chance against Fleetfoot. No! <gasps> I say, how did you know Fleetfoot would be victorious? My friend Rainbow Dash talks about her all the time. She says what Fleetfoot lacks in size, she makes up for in speed. And who is this Rainbow Dash? Uh... Why, she's... She's the, the Wonderbolt's trainer, of course. Staying at Canterlot Castle, and she knows that Pegasus is training the Wonderbolts. I told you all this was an important pony. Oh, oh, really? Three cheers for Rarity, my new favorite party guest. Stay still, Apple Bloom. You have to look sick. Just about to come get you. <laughs> Apple Bloom's sick. Looks like she might have to stay home all week. <laughs> Perfect as a Piccadilly pear. Now what? It's already almost sundown. Tomorrow is Sunday, and I only have one more day to figure something out. Hey, look! <laughs> Oh, oh, 
Well, that's too bad. We can reschedule. <laughs> well, howdy, Miss Cheerily. You window shopping? Uh, no. Uh, you asked me to come here to tell me that you wouldn't be making it to Family Appreciation Day. Fiddlesticks! I wouldn't miss it for all the tea in Canterlot. But <laughs> didn't you just say, see you Monday? She woke up from her nap. She never wakes up from her nap. I wish I could just run off and hide. Well, you can't run off, but maybe some pony else can. A lot of ponies will come to watch us. A lot? Hundreds. Hundreds? <gasps> maybe even thousands. <gasps> Shut those windows, will you? <sighs> Rainbow Dash! Rainbow Dash! <sighs> Thank you! Thank you! It's a reenactment of the founding of Equestria. It's not the Rainbow Dash Show. Well, it should be the Rainbow Dash Show. I'm the star. Fluttershy, you've got to come out of there. Curtain in two minutes. Twilight, let me handle this. My hair! Hey, <laughs> The Hearts Harmony pageant is about harmony and friendship. Shut the window! <laughs> Once upon a time, long before the peaceful rule of Celestia, and before ponies discovered our beautiful land of Equestria, ponies did not know harmony. It was a strange and dark time, a time when ponies were torn apart by hatred. <gasps> I know, can you believe it? During this frightful age, each of the three tribes, the Pegasi, the Unicorns, and the Earth Ponies, cared not for what befell the other tribes, but only for their own welfare. In those troubled times, as now, the Pegasi were the stewards of the weather. But they demanded something in return, food that could only be grown by the Earth Ponies. The unicorns demanded the same. In return for magically bringing forth day and night. And so mistrust between the tribes festered until one fateful day it came to a boil. And what prompted the ponies to clash? It was a mysterious blizzard that overtook the land and toppled the tribe's precarious peace. The normally industrious earth ponies were unable to farm their land. Earth ponies were freezing. The home of the Pegasi fared no better. The Pegasi were hungry. And the unicorns were freezing and hungry. Even the unicorn's magic was powerless against the storm. Each tribe blamed the others for their suffering, and the angrier every pony grew, the worse the blizzard became. And so it was decided that a grand summit would be held to figure out a way to cope with the blizzard. Each tribe sent their leaders. Daughter of the Unicorn King, Princess Platinum. Ruler of the Pegasi, Commander Hurricane. And lastly, <laughs> leader of the Earth Ponies, <laughs> Chancellor Puddinghead. Perhaps the three tribes could finally settle their differences and agree on a way to get through this disaster. All I want to know is why the Earth Ponies are hogging all the food. Us? We're not hogging all the food, you are! Oh wait, you're right, it's us. Well, it's only because you mean old Pegasus are making it snow like crazy! For the hundredth time, it's not us! We're not making it snow. It must be the unicorns. They're doing it with their freaky magic. <gasps> How dare you! Unlike you, Pegasi, 
by ruffians. We unicorns would never stoop to such a thing. Come of them. <laughs> Excuse me, AJ, but we didn't travel all over Equestria searching for you to come home without you. Well, I didn't ask you to come looking for me. There is nothing to tell, and I am not going back to Ponyville. I don't care what she says. Applejack's not telling us something. Twilight's right. We gotta get her to spill the beans. What? She had beans? Uh, I told her I would snack eight. You ready to put your back into it, Applejack? Sure am, Miss Jubilee. Terrific. Come on in, girls. What are you all doing here? We're your cherry sorters. Shall we get started? Fine. <laughs> Red cherries go in one bin and yellow cherries go in the other. Simple as cherry pie. Uh, just one teensy thing to remember. Have fun! What are you five up to? Well, uh, you made working on a cherry orchard sound so delightful. Uh-huh. Well, just remember, no talking about Ponyville. Fine. Why don't you quit talking and get walking? So, AJ, how was Canterlot? Not talking about Ponyville, talking about Canterlot, totally different town. Canterlot was fine. Was the rodeo fun? Yes. Did you meet some nice ponies there? Some. Really? Did you see Wild Bull Hickok? Oh, what about Calamity Mae? Yes, I saw them both. And how did you meet Miss Jubilee? Um, well, Miss Jubilee had a cherry stand at the rodeo. Real good treats. Um, excuse me? Cherry winks, cherry cheesecake, cherry tarts. We struck up a conversation being orchard folk and all. So you told her about Sweet Apple Acres? Yes. Did you tell her why you weren't going back? No, because it was none of her business. Can you please slow down? Is it because I made it rain on you that one time? No! Because you were insulted when I gave you that book on organized orchards? No! Is it because you were insulted when I insulted your hair? No, no, no! I'm not telling you why, so just stop! Well, girls, we seem to be striking out. That's because we're playing too nice. Yes, desperate times do call for desperate measures. It's time to call in the big guns. You promise not to ask me any questions? I promise. Have you ever had a cherry chonga? Ooh, sorry, that was a question. That kind of question is fine, Pinky. No, I, I never had a cherry chonga. Well, no wonder, because I made it up myself. A cherry chonga is mashed up cherries in a tortilla that's deep fried. Cherry chonga, great name, huh? Oh, but maybe I should call it a chimichurri. Ooh, that's good too. Which do you think sounds better, cherry chaga or chimichurri? Or what if I combine them, chimichurri chaga? What sounds the funniest? I like funny words. One of my favorite funny words is kumquat. I didn't make that one up. I would work in a kumquat orchard just so I could say kumquat all day. Kumquat, kumquat, kumquat. Brother of mine. Well done, Flam. We're at top of activity. Yeah! Come on, Rainbow oh. Dash. Keep grinding. We don't have time for quality control if we want to win this thing. Ah! Get back, you! <laughs> 
Oh, one bad apple spoils that bunch. Applejack, help me. There's no point in winning if we cheat. We'll just have to work harder. Come on, every pony. All right, then. Double time! <laughs> Jack. Thanks. <sighs> Integrity like that will always be rewarded. Flim and Blam win! What? We lost? Aw, oh, too bad, Apples. Guess you'll just have to find a new line of work that doesn't match your names quite so perfectly. Now, should we tear down all these tacky old buildings and put up new ones, brother? I don't see why not, brother. After all, this isn't Sweet Apple Acres anymore. How about Flim Flam Fields? I ought to press you into jerk sight! No, Rainbow Dash. A deal's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to y'all. The cider business in Ponyville is yours. Come on, Apples. Let's go pack up our things. Fear not, every pony. There's more than enough cider to go around. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, every pony. Go on, y'all. It's okay. <laughs> Drink up, Pony Bell. Down the hat. In it. I wouldn't pay one cent for this drip. You wouldn't pay even one cent? No! How about two cups for one cent? No! Two bits for the barrel? No! <laughs> it looks like we've encountered a slight problem here in Ponyville. No pony wants our product. Next town? Next town. <laughs> Let's go, Sam! Let's go, Flam. They're gone. That means Sweet Apple Acres is still in business. Plus, we can have high quality Apple Family Cider. Because of this silly competition, we've made enough of our cider for the whole town. <laughs> Dear Princess Celestia, I wanted to share my thoughts with you. <clears throat> I didn't learn anything. <laughs> I was right all along. If you take your time to do things the right way, your work will speak for itself. Sure, I could tell you I learned something about how my friends are always there to help me and I can count on them no matter what, but truth is, I knew that already too. Oh, come on, Miss Cheerily. Ask them to be your very special soul pony. <gasps> oh my gosh, look. Big Mac? Yup. You have something stuck in your teeth. Oh, come on! Well, this has been strange. Yup. I need to get going, but it's always great running into a good friend. Yup. Do you think it just wasn't romantic enough? Maybe it was too romantic. Either way, we failed. Oh, there's gotta be something else we could... Oh! oh, my goodness. I didn't even see you there. I'm so, so sorry. Uh, it's okay, Twilight. It was an accident. I've just been reading the most fascinating book about hearts and hooves day. Did you know that this holiday got its start because of a love potion? Did you say... A love potion? That's right. It even has the recipe. 
I don't suppose we could borrow that book for a little while, do you? Of course you can. I have another book here that I think you'll... <gasps> <laughs> Take a tuft of cloud. A bright rainbow's glow. Stir with a Pegasus feather. Hey! Fast, not slow. Surf do ponies who aren't in the know. Kind of bad tricking my brother and Miss Cheerley this way. What's the problem? We all agree these two are perfect for one another. Yeah, they just need a little nudge. And what could make them happier than being together, right? Rad. Oh, oh, here they come. Hi, Miss Cheerley. Hello again, girls. Hello, Big Mac. Would you three like to tell us why it was so very important that we meet you here? Punch! Excuse me? Punch! We made punch. We were gonna set up a stand and try to sell it, but <laughs> we needed some pony to taste test it first. Yep. We thought you two would be perfect together. To test it. Together. So, uh, we'll just leave you two alone. Together. To test it. <laughs> I'm very sorry about this. I mentioned to the girls that I don't have a very special sun pony, and I believe they're putting us in these awkward situations because they've decided it should be you. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we should just humor them for a moment. This punch does look delicious. Yep. I think they're gonna drink it. To good friends. They're drinking it! They're drinking it! <laughs> They're looking into each other's eyes! <laughs> They're, They're about, about to, to be, be in for a big surprise! Big Mac? Yup. Will you be my very special sun pony? Yup. Special sun pony. Hey, yeah. Aww. He's my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. You're my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. Did he just say? You're my cutie patootie lovey dovey honey bunny. You're my hearty, smarty, smoochy, woochy, baby, wavy. Be back! Hey! Hello! What's going on? Shy, what are you doing? That's no way to behave. Didn't you see what he did to new Fluttershy? And he thought new Fluttershy was a pushover. No, sweetie, he didn't. We saw the whole thing. We think that you've taken your assertiveness training a little too far. What? You just want new Fluttershy to be a doormat like old Fluttershy. But old Fluttershy is gone! New Fluttershy? Old Fluttershy? What happened to nice Fluttershy? We want that Fluttershy back. No, you want wimp Fluttershy. You want pushover Fluttershy. You want do anything to her and she won't complain Fluttershy. Yeah, too many Fluttershy's to keep track of. Make it stop. Things getting too complicated for your simple little brain, Pinkie Pie. Now, stop right there. Let's not let things descend into petty insults. Why not? I thought petty was what you're all about, Rarity, with your petty concerns about fashion. <gasps> hey, leave her alone. Fashion is her passion. Oh, and what are you passionate about? Birthday cake? Party hats? I can't believe that the two most frivolous ponies in Ponyville are trying to tell New Fluttershy how to live her life when they are throwing their own lives away on pointless pursuits that no pony else gives a flying feather about! <laughs> Looks like Nasty Fluttershy is here to stay! Oh, I cannot 
can't believe what that monster Iron Will has done to you. <laughs> Iron Will's not a monster! He's a Minotaur! I'm the monster. I become a monster. Oh, sweetie, you're not a monster. No, but he is. Iron Will's my name. Training ponies is my game. What a darling little catchphrase. Your friend Fluttershy loved Iron Will's catchphrases. Word on the street is that she doesn't take no guff from no pony. So, Iron Will is here to collect Iron Will's fee. Fluttershy is in no shape to deal with that creep. Uh, I'm sure a big, brave, powerful, and rich monster, I mean, Minotaur, like you, doesn't need that money right away. You can afford to come back later. Are you kidding? Fluttershy is overdue as it is. Iron Will collects now. Do something. We're not even sure Fluttershy is home right now. Uh, she might be off frolicking with some woodland creatures. Uh, why don't you give us some time to track her down for you? Iron Will does have some grocery shopping to do. Iron Will will come back this afternoon. But that's only half a day. We need one full day at least. Iron Will will delay for half a day and no longer. A full day. Half day. Full day. Half day. Half day. Full day. We need half a day and no more. Well, you'll get a full day and no less. Okie dokie. See you tomorrow. Wait, what? Huh, sounds like the search won't be necessary. Iron Will collects now. But we have an agreement. You gotta come back tomorrow. When some pony tries to block, show them that you rock. The answers you seek. Let us consult the mystical orb of fate's destiny. Do you like my mystical orb of fate's destiny? I just got it. Cool, huh? Yeah, uh... Best one I've seen. Look deep into the crystal ball, for soon it will reveal all. Ah, yes, I see something. It is a vision of the future. I see you, Twilight. You will get a really cool birthday present next year. Yes, and? That's it. Are you sure? Yep, cool birthday present. Pinky, I need your pinky sense to tell me what the impending disaster is that future Twilight was trying to warn me about. Oh, my fortune telling has nothing to do with my pinky sense, silly. It's only good for vague and immediate events. Like that, see? Where did that even come from? La 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 Gosh, I haven't seen Twilight since the flower pot incident. Hope she still isn't mad. Uh... Off by 0 0.02 from yesterday. Carry the 15. Negative azimuth on the 14th moon. Hey, Pinky. Twilight's really serious about finding out about that cool birthday present, isn't she? Who cares? As long as I can keep eating ice cream. Sorry, future Spike. Oh. Hmm. Are you okay? Ah, Pinky, I'm glad you're here. Can you help me recalibrate the apertures on the nine and quarter catadioptric telescopes? Sure! So I was thinking, after I came to see Madam Pinky and the flower pot landed on my head, see the bandage, just like the bandage from the future. Nice! 
I had an epiphany after that flower pot. Doing things didn't work, not doing things didn't work, and I couldn't predict the future either, so I only had one other choice. Monitor everything. Makes sense to me. That way, no matter what happens in the future, I'll be ready. I thought I saw something last night in the Horsehead Nebula, but after staring at it for three straight hours, I realized I was wrong. Three hours? But when did you sleep? Oh, I didn't sleep. I haven't slept since Future Twilight was here. There are only three days left until next Tuesday. I can sleep all I want after that. You've been awake too long, Twilight. Yeah, Tuesday's not three days from now. Tuesday's tomorrow. <gasps> Pinky, did you finish recalibrating the apertures on the nine and quarter inch catadiopter telescopes? I have no idea. Patches stashed all over Ponyo in case of eye patch emergency. There! Now you look like a pirate. A sleepy pirate with a really weird mane cut. The eye patch. Another sign. <sighs> Nearly all the signs have come through. I haven't done a thing to prevent the catastrophe. If Tuesday's tomorrow and the disaster happens by Tuesday morning, then there's only one solution. I'll just have to stop time. Angelot archives are right over there. Let's move! Uh, I don't think we need to sneak around, Twilight. It's not illegal to walk around Canterlot. Guard! Come on, you guys! Oh, that was close. I don't know why we have to wear these things, either. Aren't we wearing them for fun? No, there's nothing fun about this. Oh, are you sure? Focus, guys. The only way to prevent this disaster is to stop time. Time spells are kept in the Star Swirl the Bearded Wing, the most secure section of the archives. That's why we're sneaking around. Awesome! That sounds fun! Fluttershy, open! Achoo! Hi, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> Fluttershy, what happened to you? Oh, I... I think I have <clears throat> the pony pox. I'm sorry. I really, really wanted to come to training day today. <laughs> but this pony pox has really knocked me for a loop. Achoo! <laughs> oh, you poor thing. You know, there's only one cure for pony pox. I know. Plenty of better. <laughs> Cold water! Those pony pops are clearing right up. You know, all of a sudden I'm, I'm starting to feel better. I, I'll just get out of these robes and. Ow! Oh, my wing! Oh, ow! It's hurt. I guess I can't fly after it. <laughs> Messed up wing, huh? Stop horsing around, Fluttershy. We've got a lot of training to do. Come on now. What's going on? Well, you see. Huh, well. Oh, Rainbow Dash, I just can't do it. I can't fly. What are you talking about? Just last week, you went into that wicked nosedive to save that falling baby bird right before it hit the ground. But that was different. That was an emergency. This whole tornado thing, it's more like a performance. And you know how I hate performing in front of others. Don't you remember flight camp? I couldn't gallop hard or fly fast. Not with every pony looking at me. It wasn't that bad. You're right, Rainbow Dash. It wasn't bad. It was horrible! <laughs> All the other fools used to tease me. A lot! Fluttershy! 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 I can hardly fly! Fluttershy! That sort of humiliation again. Suck it up, Fluttershy! This is no time for... I mean, confidence or no confidence. I'm gonna need every Pegasus to break the record, including you. I need every ounce of wing power I can get. Oh, uh, I don't think so, Rainbow Dash. <sighs> Thanks anyway. Wait. I'll do it. You will? I will. You're game? I'm game. All right! Mm. 
what exactly does this machine do? This is an anemometer. It measures your accelerative velocity and translates it into wing power, thus gauging your cumulative H2O anti-gravitational potential. Any other questions? Yeah! What exactly does this machine do? It tells you how fast you're flying and how strong your wings are. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that you again, Thunderlane? Please, we need to have a germ-free environment. It wasn't me, it was Blossom Force. Don't worry, Twilight. Thunderlane's just cooking up an excuse to spend Tornado Day in bed. Why don't you get over here and be our first test flyer, Thunderlane? <coughs> we have 9.3 wing power. Wow, that's fast! Oh, yeah! Not bad, not bad. security system. And Joe is not sleek, stealthy con maid. He's big, gruff, and messy. Hey! Although, you would look rather dapper in a tuxedo. Oh, you may be right, lowly assistant. Maybe? Now that I'm taking a closer look at these desserts, I see that one simply cannot look me in the eye. Pinky, that moose is a moose. Yes! And the mule behind the moose panicked when she saw the mastery of the mmm. So you're saying that the culprit is... Mulia Mild! devour the marzipan Oscar pomerang madness while leaving this trio of tasty treats untouched. wild accusations and get to the truth. Every pony, go back to your cars while we do a little investigating. Okay, Pinky, in order to really solve this mystery, we're going to have to find clues. Now, you were here at the scene of the crime all night. <laughs> You're not accusing me, are you? No. But maybe you saw something that will help us. I saw a silhouette in the moonlight. Good. Let's retrace your steps. Then I chase the culprit down the tree towards the caboose. But when I go 
got there, he was gone. Hmm. Aha! Our first clue. I think I know who did it, Pinky. Already? Yes, but I need more evidence to confirm. Tell me what happened next. I heard some pony else in the dessert car and chased them up to the engine. But when I got there, all I saw was the conductor shoveling coal. The conductor, huh? <gasps> but that doesn't make any sense. Cadence is only the most amazing pony ever. She's beautiful. She's caring. She's kind. I am so lucky to have you as my full sitter. I'm the one who's lucky, Twilight. <laughs> You're a princess. I'm just a regular old unicorn. You are anything but a regular old unicorn. Sunshine, sunshine, sunshine lady bugs awake. awake. Clap, Clap your hooves and do a little shake. <laughs> <laughs> I am going for a Hofakura, and that is not... not going. I am! I, 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 I am. I've been for three I, uh, this no, month. You know, my girlfriends oh. are all getting their hooves done, We've and done you this can't! Hello? Oh, sweetie. Oh. You just did that thing. How many unicorns can just spread love wherever they go? I only know of one. And you're marrying her! You're marrying Cadence! You're marrying Cadence! I hope I'm not interrupting anything important. Cadence! Sunshine, sunshine, ladybugs awake. Clap your hooves and do a little shake. What are you doing? Cadence, it's me, Twilight. Uh-huh. I've got to get back to my station, but Cadence will be checking in with all of you to see how things are going. I think I speak for both of us when I say we couldn't be more excited to have you here. Right, dear? Absolutely. Well, we'll let you get to it. Cake. Chick. A sculpture. Chick. Best darn bite size apple fruity ever tasted? Hmm. Chick. I do. Do you? I do. Mwah. Princess? Please, call me Princess Miyamore Cadenza. Hi, Princess Miyamore Cadenza. You come to check out what's on the menu for your big day? I have. <laughs> Delicious. I love, love, love them. <laughs> oh, shucks. Why don't you take a few to go? I know how you brides can be. So busy you forget to get a little something in your belly. Did you see what she... Oh, you should have seen how she acted back there. I don't know when she changed, but she changed. Please, call me Princess Miyamore Cadenza. Did I hear someone say my name? Your Highness! Let me just start by saying what an honor it is to play a role in such a momentous occasion. <laughs> uh huh. Is my dress ready? Oh, uh, uh, yes, of course. Um, I've been working on it ever since I was given the assignment, and I think you'll be pleased with the results. <laughs> I was hoping for something with more beating and a longer train. Oh, yes, of course. And those should be a different color. I think they're lovely. Me too. I love them. Make them a different color. Gee, maybe her name should be Princess Demandy Pants. Okay, let me see. We've been over the game. The dance. <laughs> Perfect! If we were celebrating a six-year-old's birthday party. <gasps> Thank you! Look! 
Looks like we're gonna have to do this the hard way. You were saying? You do realize the reception's been cancelled, don't you? Go! Feed! <laughs> it's funny, really. Twilight here was suspicious of my behavior all along. Too bad the rest of you were too caught up in your wedding planning to realize those suspicions were correct. <laughs> Sorry, Twa. We should have listened to you. It's not your fault. She fooled every pony. Mm, I did, didn't I? This day has been just perfect. The kind of day of which I've dreamed since I was small. Every pony I'll soon control. Every stallion, mare, and foal. Who says a girl can really have it all? <laughs> Quick! Go to him while you still have the chance. all day that you completely forgot about the picnic. Why don't you just relax and go hang out with... The picnic! 
I should go see my friends. I'm glad you've come to your senses. Please tell me I did not forget the plates. I did. I totally forgot them. Of all the worst things that could happen, this is the worst possible thing. Why? 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 Uh, what? You didn't expect me to lay on the grass, did you? You all right, huh? No! I am not all right. What? Oh, no. I don't what quite I do? understand. It's just terrible. Yes? yes? Simply awful. Yes? It's the most horrific trouble I've ever been in, and I really, really, really need your help. Yes? My letter to Princess Celestia is almost overdue, and I haven't learned anything about friendship. <sighs> oh, thank goodness. I thought something really awful had happened. <laughs> something awful has happened. If I don't turn in the letter on time, I'll be tardy. <laughs> no offense, Sugar Cube, but it looks like some ponies getting themselves all worked up over nothing. This is not nothing. This is everything. I need you guys to help me find some pony with a problem I can fix before sundown. My whole life depends on it! Oh, Twilight, you're such a crack-up. <laughs> Come on now. Have a seat and stop sweating the small stuff. <sighs> Wow, I've never seen Twilight so upset before. Oh, what a drama queen. <clears throat> Relatively speaking. What is ticking, Twilight? What is ticking? Keep it together. If I can't find a friendship problem, I'll make a friendship problem. <laughs> hi, girls! Oh, hi, Twilight. How's it going? Great. Just great. You three look like you're doing great, too. Looks like three good friends who obviously don't need the help of another good friend. Smarty Pants. She was mine when I was your age, and now I want to give her to you! Uh, she's uh, great. Yeah, great.